Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a real exciting video. We're going to be breaking down a bunch of news, starting it off with Tifu, who did call out pretty much the entire community, calling everybody dog. And the reason he's calling everybody out is because we're all upset about the changes that Fortnite made in the 8.20 patch when they got rid of HP and mats off of kills. And Tifu's actually glad that Fortnite got rid of it and he's calling everybody out about it for complaining. We'll be rolling that clip for you guys to see exactly what happened. Then in the second part of the video, we're still talking about Tifu because something absolutely insane happened to him during the tournament today. His power lines literally caught on fire and he had to call the fire department. I'll show you guys exactly what happened there. Then moving on to the third and final part of the video, we are going to be taking a look at Mr. Savage M's reaction to the video I made earlier about him and Mongrel. He actually really enjoyed it. He dropped the like on it. He said good video and everything, but he also called out Mongrel during the video and said he's not even going to qualify for the World Cup. The trash talk and banter is starting, guys. I absolutely love it. So we'll take a look at all of that. If you guys are excited for this video and you enjoy my daily content, do me a favor and reward me by dropping a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe with post notifications on. I upload videos like this every single day. Sorry about the little longer of an intro today, guys. So let's jump into it now and we'll begin with Tifu and the current revert situation that is going on with Fortnite. So I've already made a few videos on this situation. The entire community or at least most of it, a big majority, is upset with the recent changes where they got rid of the HP and mats on kills in the public games. And specifically, professional players and top-tier streamers like Ninja and Nick A30 have been very adamant about reverting the changes, and because of this, we see incredible amounts of players spamming all over the YouTube Fortnite streams where they're casting the Lux tournament today, just saying revert, 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 as you guys can see in the footage. And not only this, as I mentioned, Ninja and Nick A30, they've been strong advocates for for this, they've even posted on their Twitters and YouTubes holding polls asking their communities if they believe the patch should be reverted. Here's Ninja's tweet. Regarding the latest Fortnite patch, revert or don't revert? If you vote don't, please reply why. And then 87% said revert, 13% said don't revert, and this is out of 324,000 votes. So that is a very large part of the community. And then again, Nick A30 also held a poll on his YouTube community page and he posted it on Twitter saying this. I was talking about this on the YouTube gaming panel on Friday. The amount of engagement on community tab posts are insane. I did a poll in less than 24 hours and 142,000 people voted. And then down below the vote is, on Fortnite, do you want the plus 50 shield per elimination? 93% voted yes, please and thank you. And then only 7% voted no. So it seems like a very, very large part of the community and most top tier streamers and professional players want the patch reverted. But as I said earlier, Tifu is not one of them, and he actually was very frustrated today on a stream and called out everybody who's complaining. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Do you want Epic to revert? No. Uh -huh. I think this last update was healthy for the game. Can't tell if he's joking. Bro, I hate almost every single update, and I honestly think this is the only good one they've done. Straight up. I just think they need to do something about the f I'm not. I'm not even trolling. What are you guys talking about? I literally, I literally said before they added it to the game, this public, like public regular playlist should not have health per kill, should not have mats per kill. I said that was stupid before they added it. That shit does not belong in public games at all. You know, the only people that are going to complain about it are the people that are getting hit. Listen, buddy, how about you get good at the game and not get hit? Then you don't have to deal with it. Okay. If you complain about mats. Just don't build. That's what I do. People are just dog shit. I want nothing but longevity for this game. Reverting that shit was probably the best thing they could have ever done to the game. People that want health and mass per kill are people that want the game to die. That's that's nothing but facts. I'm not trolling. I think Epic f***ed up big time. I think they never should have added ma mass and health per kill. They should have never added it. Because now... People are so used to it, they take it away, and they don't know how to play the game. Wow, so as I said, Tifu had a lot to say about everybody who's been complaining, and he also had a lot to say to Epic. He thinks he enjoys this update, it's one of the only good ones they've done in a very long time. But one thing I don't really understand is him saying that the people who liked the old patch are ones who want the game to die. I don't really get that perspective at all. But yeah, that's what Tifu thinks, guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below, let me know if you agree with Tifu or if you agree with Ninja and Nick A30 and think the patch needs to be reverted. We'll go ahead and move on to the second topic, which does still have to do with Tifu 
earlier today when he was competing in the Lux Cup. He was just competing in the tournament, you know, minding his own business, but then his stream went down, and it's because his power lines caught on fire. He tweeted this out. Mid-tournament, my power lines catch fire. Unlucky, and he shows that the fire department's at his house trying to fix the lines and everything. Absolutely crazy to go down like this. Luckily for him, though, they did fix the situation, and Tifu was back up competing within like 45 minutes. Definitely a crappy situation there for Tifu, but that's going to be it, guys. If you enjoyed the Tifu part of this video, let me know down in the comments. Now, let's move on to the final part of the video because Mr. Savage M reacted to the video I made earlier about him and Mongrel, and he had some awesome insight. Let's go ahead and roll it. <clears throat> you see these calls, dude? Easy. Boosh. Bop. They don't got me clutch ground for nothing. I'm a fish. Hey. Representing Oosh. me. Hey, I see myself, dude. Look. Look. Look at that, dude. That's me. <laughs> Audio, by the way. Ah, um, stop screaming. Absolutely f***ing destroyed, dude. I mean, seriously, how many times have you ever seen someone move so creatively and use the stink bomb so effectively? That guy Honestly, had absolutely I don't know, no idea what was going on, and he also had the jump on him, what? which, again, True. is another thing I am talking about here. We all know there's been audio issues in Fortnite recently. I think it's been getting a little bit better, but there was a rough patch there where the audio was just so bad, it was completely off, you couldn't track where anybody <clears throat> was. And Mr. Savage M was a victim of that. He got caught out. That guy dropped right on him. He hit the first shot, got Savage alone. But Mr. Savage M, with literally zero hesitation, finds a way to completely outplay him in such an incredible way. So basically, in the first four minutes of this Ooh. video, I wanted to set a precedent that Mongrel and Mr. Savage M are basically oh, in a league nice. of their own. At least when it comes to super young talent. Oh no, not this clip, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yeah, but we push that. <laughs> no. <laughs> So you weren't allowed to shoot until the third zone hit. Why? Oh, we didn't know. And then, then we 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 didn't know. So. The fuck is he doing? What the fuck is Savage and Benji doing? Ridiculous, man! This is fucking ridiculous. Oh yeah, and then this clip. Oh, wait, wait, I don't know. They used the away. No way! Oh, I I skipped. This was wait, like yesterday, wasn't it? Where was I? Yeah, this was yesterday. I need to turn down the audio for audio for this, dude. This clip, bro. Oh my god. Hey, my god, you're a great player, dude. You're just better oh, than us. It's simple. <laughs> dude, everyone is gonna say, "Oh my god, my god, kill a Mr. Savage Jam." Oh my god, he's throwing minigun and RPG and uh, uh, throw dynamite. Oh my god, oh my god, you're so good. Oh my god, my god. Creating a rivalry and potentially going to start beef between them during the World Cup. Of course, it'll probably be just light banter and some fun trash talk. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely down for some light trash talk and banter between Mr. Savage M and Mongrel. They're both incredible players, and we know they're going to be going head to head in the World Cup to see who is the better player. And I'm sure they if both Mongrel think qualifies. they're better than each other right now. They're young and confident, and I love it. But none of this really answers who is better, Mr. Savage oh. M or Mongrel. As I said, they've both gotten the best of each other multiple times recently. In the gauntlet, they got 11th. Overall, a 14 tournaments. 5 average performance. He's a trash Moving on to Mongrel, his duo, but he also had that a better mean anything. placement than any of them with 5th in the gauntlet. <clears throat> So it's still kind of really close. But for me, it's really hard to make my mind up. I do feel like Mr. Savage M might be slightly better. So I decided to reach out to his duo partner, Benji, to ask him a few questions Ooh. about what it's like playing Benji Mr. Part. Savage M and why he thinks he is so good. The first question I asked was, from your perspective, how good is Mr. Savage M? Benji answered by saying, I think Mr. Savage M is probably the best player in all of Europe. He is both skilled hey, mechanically and thank you as very an much. in game leader. Then I straight up asked Benji, Is Mr. Savage M better than Mongrel? And he responded by saying, 
it's really hard to say who is better because I don't play with Mongrel too much in scrims, so I don't really know how much he calls. However, though, mechanically, I think Savage and Mongrel are the same. And you can't I really disagree. put one over the other. I, I think Mongrel is better mechanically. Here, I think Mongrel and Mr. Savage M are both yeah. absolutely incredible yeah. when it comes to mechanics. It's really nice being his duo. Having someone who can call for you as well as be being a god and can support you during fights is absolutely I got big crazy brain, though. and amazing. <laughs> it's really hard to find a duo who can do stuff like that all the time. So after talking with Benji, it really does sound like Mr. Savage M is the absolutely whole package. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get in contact with Mitro to see what it was like playing with Mongrel, but I'm sure Mongrel is an amazing teammate as well. Mitro would have just said Benji legit clipping, all bro. Awesome things about Mr. Savage M really makes me feel like he is the best player in the world right now. So at the end of the day, I think I would give the slight edge to Mr. Savage M going in the World Cup. I also think Benji is an amazing player too, but then again, Mitro and Mongrel sounds like one of the scariest duos I've ever heard of in my life. So I don't know who's going to be better in the World Cup, guys. Don't show this last clip, please. And I'm definitely don't show the last clip. Don't show the last Thank you. Some beef between the two. I would love to know what you Ooh. guys think down below in the Big comments. Big Brain incoming. Tell me who is better, Mr. Savage M or this guy. Mongrel. And of course, do not forget to drop a like on this video, guys. If we do get this the Big 30K, Brain play, I'm going Boosh. to try my absolute damnness to get the 1v1 between Skeptic and Slappy going. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did, yo, thank you very much, dude. Cheech. And there it is, guys, Mr. Savage M. He enjoyed the video. He gave us some awesome insight. I love how he called out Mongrel there. The trash talk and banter is starting. Super exciting, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, do me a favor, slap a like on it. Subscribe to my channel for more daily content like this. That is going to be it for me, though, guys. Thank you. Peace.